What's up, everybody? This is Chuck It's with Simply Vegas, your Las Vegas realtor. So today I am bringing you up here to Sky Canyon, master plan community out here in the northwest Las Vegas Valley. And this builder that we're going to be taking a look today is actually a uh, Pulte. And the name of this community is called Eagle Ridge at Sky Canyon. So this model that we're going to look be looking at here today is actually a 2529 square feet. You do have an option for a 3 to 5 bedroom, 2 and a half to 3 and a half bath and a two car garage. Now what you see right here is actually uh, just the uh, building quality uh, studio kind of shows you their product and materials so just keep that in mind your garage is not going to look like that take you guys off to the side here they have some pretty nice pop-ups yeah facial boards are made of wood they're not stucco I do prefer the stucco. Now in this community, there's actually two collections. Collections one and two, okay? Collections two is a little bit higher in the price point. Uh, this one right here is collection two. Now they have a total of uh, six different models that you can actually choose from. Now there are only three modeled at this time. Builders won't model all their homes. Now, also, I do want to mention that the base price, which is the starting price, is $379,880. Now, what I've noticed that these models are also located valley wide I know some builders will build the same models in different communities builders like Toll Brothers will never build the same model in a different community so this looks like could be an option a bedroom oh I do love the tile on the wall here to go to the flooring that's some nice tile flooring. This right here is actually the garage that goes into the studio for the quality of their product. So this just kind of again shows you what you get with their product. Um, you get a Lennox AC unit, 15 sear, which is great. I think standard industry is 14 or 13, I don't remember. Uh, Rainbird, this is actually a good brand for the sprinkler system, which is I really do like. This shows the uh, process of tiling, okay, as far as your bathroom and stuff like that. Here's an idea of your post tension slabs again. Shows you what post tension slabs are about. You got your tankless water heater, which is really nice. I don't know if I mentioned this to you guys uh, before. Um, tankless water heater, don't mess with it because what happens is there are third party companies that are actually subcontractors with the builder. Uh, if you start adjusting that and you mess around with that, you can actually void the warranty. So um, make sure you read your uh, warranty uh, disclosure forms. Here's your soft water loop. What's funny is they're, they're making it like it comes with it. I mean, they all should come with a soft water loop. However, if you are putting soft water, this loop will only go to certain, certain, um, certain uh, pipes inside the home. It won't go throughout the whole house. But if you do want it to go throughout the whole house, then you're probably going to want it through the main valve here. Okay. For the water purification system and soft water loop. That's where I would personally put it. Also, I've noticed um, this builder, 
is not adding a second valve for the sprinkler system, which is that's something new and that was something that would highly recommend uh, for myself personally. This shows you the type of insulation, the blown in insulation versus just a regular fiberglass insulation. I do prefer blow in insulation. Here is your uh, texture. Here's your stucco. This is actually a concrete stucco type. So, I mean, it does show you a lot of great stuff in here. So, you know, when a builder provides this to you, this is something that I would definitely take a look at. Now I'm just breaking stuff. Okay, so that's why they just had this thing taped up, okay? So let's take a look here. This looks like your standard fixtures that do come with it. Here's your maple cabinets. And it looks like you have two colors, okay? Carpet color choice. What's weird is like, you can tell like the quality of this. This is actually synthetic. And, and what I mean by synthetic, it's more of a, um, uh, what do you call, more of like a plastic. Here's your porcelain tile that you can actually pick in the wet areas. Not bad. I think I would probably go with the gray one right here. And here's your tile options. Definitely would have to go with this granite one right here. Now let's take a look at your base for your appliances. So you got the black appliances, okay? And here's your upgraded look like. It look like that. Okay. Cool. Now let's go back into the home here. Now keep in mind, this is just a starting price and you have to build and add your options. So here is the storage underneath the staircase, which is really nice. You got your two panel wall, I mean two panel door. Now let's take a look at your casing around the door or your trim, it's just an inch and a half. And it looks like you just have some standard baseboards. Now let's take a look at the smackdown of the texture, which is really nice. Okay. Here's your thermostat. This looks like your standard thermostat that will come with it. Now, one thing that I always tell of my clients is that you need to be looking at every home and every area and you gotta break it down price per square foot of what you get for the value. It's so important. So now, if we take a look at these two windows right here, this actually may be an upgrade, so you need to double check that. Also with the ceiling heights, these are nine foot ceilings. This one is included. However, this 42 inch um, fireplace and this pop out on here, definitely not included. So all this is gonna be an upgrade, but that's really nice and gives you an idea. I would say this is more of a starter home. And it's really nice. Now, you do have um, an HOA fee, which is a sub for this community. Uh, Eagle Ridge, it is $87 a month and also $83 for Sky Canyon master plan fee as well, okay? Which totals $170, okay? There is uh, SIDS, which is Special Improvement District, and that is $302 every six months. Uh, roughly the remaining balance is about $8,600, $8,700, according to the uh, sales rep. Today is a little bit windy and also chilly today. Come out here to the backyard. They say it's gonna rain today. Wow, this is all broken. Oh, they need to get this fixed. If I get this in there, give me a thumbs up.
Share this with all your friends and family. Woo! Missed it. You got the nice synthetic grass. And now you see that light right there? Floodlights, those are not included. Backyard's not included as well. It'd be all dirt. Love the uh, grill. Kind of gives you nice homey feel. This one looks like there's only one AC unit. I've mentioned this from time to time again. If you're on a two-story, it is preferably to have two AC units versus one because heat rises. However, if you only have one, you want to make sure it has enough tons to supply your house. In addition to that, you want to make sure there's actually dampers inside that uh, ductwork. So that way it controls the zoning. So this is really nice. So this one right here would be a extra upgrade. Okay. Ooh, I love the double ovens here and microwave convectional. Oh, these cabinets are definitely upgraded for sure. Even that range, look at that range. I do like that range. I love how wide this cook countertop is. Backsplashes all the way to the top. However, you're only gonna get a six inch backsplash. This sink, I love this sink and how deep this sink is. It's my favorite sink right here. Also, I am affiliated with um, Amazon. So if you click on the link in the description below, I actually have that sink as well. So you can order from Amazon. Now you see these pendant lightings? Just to do the wiring, that's just an upgrade, and you would actually have to pick your lights at the design studio. However, I would just get it pre-wired and go to Home Depot and buy your own and wire it yourself. Now, if you don't know how, I highly recommend that you contact a electrician. Nine foot ceilings, six, eight door. So we have a bedroom downstairs, so this is a guest bedroom. Remember, you have an option, what, three to five bedrooms on this one? This one is very unique. There I go again, dropping my paper. So somebody has to take a shot. I forget who commented that. Every time I drop the paper, you're going to have to take a shot. So we have a three-quarter bath with nice tile. This is on upgrade. Nice sink. Okay, so here's your closet. So this is some something where you would actually put your guest. Okay, cool. Now this looks like it could also be converted into a den but I would just leave this as a bedroom I do like it like this here's your half math or your powder This one has surround sounds, but the surround sounds are not included. Okay. As you can see right up there, we actually have your doorbell and your ADT alarm or the speaker. Okay, let's go upstairs. Carpet that you see here, 
definitely would not be included and as you can see the the railing will not be standard so we have a nice loft here okay so it's a pretty large loft very unique okay show this to you on this angle here now this is 2500 square feet you have an option for three to five bedrooms okay Get you guys on a better angle here. See what it looks like. Very cloudy today. You see the rain. See that? Alright. Let's see what else we got. Is this the master? Well, I thought the master's on the other side. This is a pretty pretty huge master I love the uh, barn doors and I love how they put this plank wood above here They're really nice and that door is a little bit wider a 36 so this one actually has two zones here's the second thermostat okay as we come in to the bath as you can see, the carpet transitions into a mosaic tile, which is really nice. I do love this type of tile, but it gets so dirty. Here's your water closet. Seems like this water closet is so like long, it takes up so much space. Here's the bathroom. The two sinks. I don't really care for this this design. Um, I've seen better products by Pulte, especially up in Summerlin, the Reverence. I think the product there is a lot better. There's your attic access. Frame walk-in shower. Okay, let's take a look at this. So. As we come up, there's actually a step here, step up, you got a bench, okay. It's not that huge. So this one actually has two closets, hers and hers. But I, I think at the price for the home, it is a... I would say starter home maybe, I, I mean, I don't know. I mean, this home's a lot bigger than mine. However, I feel like my layout has a lot more fun, it's more functional. And that's that's the thing about uh, homes with the architecture designs. You know, you can have a home that's 500 square feet less than this, but it feels a lot larger than this. It's just the way the layout is. Now, I couldn't do a five bedroom on here because this would just be so claustrophobic here. But we have what? One downstairs, there's the master, that was a two. Um, you had that room in the front that could have been three. So this would have been four. Okay, four. Then that's five. So I think the way it is now, uh, I would probably just leave it the way it is. Or let me know in the comments below what would you guys do? Would you guys turn that den downstairs or that office into another bedroom? This room is a good 12 by 12. This is actually a pretty decent size. This is a queen size bed in here. Now I'm gonna pan over here to the left here. Okay, we are pretty much far northwest as possible. Okay, what you see here, this is the second phase that they're starting to work on on Sky Canyon here. I mean, we are in the second phase, but this is just land that they're grading and getting everything ready. Coming into the laundry room. 
Sink is an upgrade. The cabinets are all an upgrade. Here's your smart box. Here's your ADT, which is wired really nicely. Okay, so they have that shut. Okay, got it. Mm, okay. Going to the bathroom. This vanity is very low. I don't like how low the vanity is. I'll definitely do the upgrade. Also, one thing that you might want to consider or make sure to ask um, the builder if you are upgrading your cabinets downstairs. Does that also include all the cabinets? throughout the house would they all be upgraded because sometimes they won't do that and you don't want to build a home and you pass uh, all your due diligence period and now next thing you know it before you close you realize you have two different cabinets also the other thing is that you want to ask are you going to have a 36 inch cabinet or 42 inch vanity okay because like this, this is just way too low but again, that's more for, you know, your kids and stuff like that. But however, remember, kids will grow. And when you buy a home out here in Vegas, you always have to think about a resale value. And it really comes down to how you build your home. And what I've noticed, a lot of people cut so much cost on electricity. I mean, on the electrical and the low voltage. And they end up shooting themselves in the foot in the long run when it comes to selling their home. So you don't want to be that person. Okay. Now, let me know what you guys think about this home. Could you see your, you guys yourselves living out here? If you haven't subscribed to that channel or this channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also, you can follow me on Facebook as well at Chuck It's Cruise What with Simply Vegas. And I upload um, a bunch of videos up there too as well. Other than that, thank you so much for tuning in. I'm Chuck, it's Crusoe with Simply Vegas, and have a blessed day.